Hey guys, Retro John here, and today is Star Wars Day, uh, March 27th, 2018, and why is today Star Wars Day? It is today Star Wars The Last Jedi is released on Blu-ray. Uh, and DVD and so I have been looking forward to this I think uh, this this is just I, I'm, I'm liking this trilogy a lot of people you either hate it or you like it I like it uh, and I actually enjoyed The Last Jedi so I totally had made the plan of getting off work and going and purchasing this blu-ray ASAP and then watch it but what version do I get um, with The Force Awakens there were three different exclusive uh, blu-rays and the standard blu-ray uh, Walmart had their exclusive Best Buy had their exclusive and Target had their exclusive and I decided I wanted all three plus the standard version so when they that day when they came out and all those came out uh, I, I spent probably about a hundred dollars on four of the same exact movie just to have the different ones I didn't do that with Rogue One uh, with Rogue One I was a little specific I said okay whoever had like the coolest uh, feet uh, exclusive that's what I'll get that's kind of where I was with The Last Jedi so I did a little bit of research and it turns out there's only there were only two exclusives uh, at the stores. First, Best Buy had their Steelbook exclusive for $27.99. I didn't see any extra special features other than what came with uh, the Blu-ray already. It just had a really cool steel cover. It was a Blu-ray um, DVD. Uh, and then there was Target. Target had something really, really cool. And that's the one that I purchased right here. So this is one we're going to talk about. I went with the Target exclusive. Uh, first off, I, I I love the fact that they went with this particular cover because this was my favorite poster uh, to the Last Jedi. When AMC brought out their metal buckets, instead of getting all three, I just wanted the one, and that was the one with all the red because that's my favorite color. I just think it looks really cool. Uh, this is just the slip cover. So with that being said, we'll turn it over, and we have a picture of BB-8, which looks kind of like a BB-8 from maybe a horror movie, a little bit, doesn't it? Uh, we also have the logo, the name on the side, with it being Blu-ray, so that's kind of cool. As I said, it is a slip cover, so it just slips right off. And then we are treated with more... Uh, photos of our main characters. We have Rhea over here. We've got Kylo right on the back. Uh, if you open it up, we have Luke and Luke and Leia. And if you open it up again, we have our discs. Um, we have our Blu-ray feature film over here. And we have our Blu-ray bonus discs here. On this side, we have our feature film on DVD, and here is a DVD, but it has, um, it's another bonus disc, so it's the exclusive Target bonus disc. Uh, the back does not tell you what the bonus disc is. The bonus disc is just one, like, ten-minute feature about uh, the Porgs, how, the, how they came up with the concept of the Porgs and how those were created. That's about it. Uh, I, was, I was a little disappointed because <laughs> it, it really said it said right on the front on a little you know like uh, star blast there a little one it said you know exclusive bonus content and that's that you know that was kind of a bummer uh, on the blu-ray bonus disc you get your standard uh, feature at about uh, the director you got your deleted scenes you've got features uh, 
features on features. On, there's just got a ton of different features uh, and different uh, creations of how the characters were made, with why, why they did this, why they did that. I watched the director one and it was kind of disappointing. It was boring. I I wasn't impressed. So the highlight of this set, however, is hidden behind Leia. And that is a little book. Uh, the book is really cool. It's essentially, it's just a gallery book. And on the inside, uh, the first off, the cover is, at first it feels like kind of just regular kind of like a paper, but it's not. It's, um, I say, almost really hard paper, kind of reminiscent of the... Um, Material that the uh, six movie Blu-rays were when they first came out, and it had uh, Anakin on the cover and the sand and all that. It's kind of what it feels like right here. Uh, very glossy, very shiny, and on the inside, it's got all the pads, all these different art pictures. It's got characters and their concepts. Uh, it's pretty cool. Another one of my favorite characters. Uh, this hasn't really been opened but once. So, I mean, uh, you got uh, Kendall Blight here. It's just a bunch of concepts, photos. So, it was really neat, really nice little pack in with this deluxe set. Uh, I love the packaging on this. It's uh, probably a lot better than the standard packaging that you would get. Um, the poor docu uh, feature at Though it was disappointing, it was kind of neat to see how they uh, came up with the forks. Uh, like I said, um, the directing, the director uh, documentary, which follows uh, Ram to um, through him getting picked as director. Something overhead. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it, him being picked as director all the way through. Uh, the final day of shooting. Go. So it doesn't really say why he chose. And, and this spoiler alert, by the way. Yes, spoiler alerts on this in this video in five. Okay. So it doesn't really say why he decided Luke. He felt like Luke had to die. Just that he felt like Luke had to die. It does. It, there are interviews with the cast. Uh, Mark Hamill does mention that he expressed his displeasure in where Luke's character was in the movie. Uh, that he, and he, The director does state that he, Mark Hamill expressed that he wasn't happy with that or the fact that he was he, he died at the end. But Mark Hamill had explained that he realized it's not his character, it's a character that, you know, it's, it's kind of on rent given to him and he had to work with what he had had. Uh, my views on the movie aside, however, the featurettes were alright. Uh, like I said, that, that one was kind of boring. I, I managed to last probably a little over an hour. It's an hour and a half. It's an hour and 35 minute featurette. It didn't really go over, you know, this, we, we needed to cast this person for this and that person and this and that. Uh, the only casting, uh, uh, behind the scenes casting, anything was, uh, Rose and all the extras for the Canto Light, uh, cas uh cas casino area. Uh, that was about it. They, they, they didn't really go into any further details on why this person was cast or that person was cast. Uh, it was a very boring documentary. <laughs> like I said, it lasted over, just a little over an hour. And I, was, and I started flipping a bit to say maybe it, it got a little interesting, and it didn't. Uh, there were deleted scenes, which I haven't gone to see, or haven't gone and watched yet. Uh, there's um, uh, a, a featurette uh, with Andy Zirkus uh, called Andy Zirkus uh, One Night Only. I'm very anxious to watch that and see how that is. Uh, I just picked this up. I've had it for maybe a couple hours. Like I said, I wanted to watch the main feature at, and I wanted to find out what the special disc was, the pork disc. So, and then I wanted to go ahead and give my review. 
So this is really cool. Like I said, this was a Target exclusive. I got off work just before 2 o'clock, so I went in as soon as I was able to, and they were sold out. We only have one Target, by the way, here in Decatur. And they were sold out, so I went to the, up to one of the workers and go, listen, do you have any more bags? Well, this is what really ticked me off. They're sold out because I got to the shelf just as this woman had grabbed the last one. I put my hand on the shelf, and she goes, oh, yeah, this was the last one. Sorry. And it <laughs> took off. I wanted them. But I didn't. And I wouldn't. But I wanted to. But luckily, luckily, uh, one of the employees was nice enough to go in the back and look. And it's a good thing she did. Because apparently there was supposed to be a big Star Wars display out in front. By the cash registers that nobody put out. And in that display... There were more of these. They had plenty of the standard and the uh, 4K HD, high def, whatever it's called. And they had some of these. So I did manage to get pick one up. Uh, I talked to a really cool dude named Tony while waited. And we went over some of our memories of Star Wars. And he was also excited that he was able to get a copy of the deluxe version too. So again, this is a Target exclusive. It runs for $27.99. Um, which is a bit pricey. Honestly, and with it being the um, debut, the, the opening Tuesday, new new movie day, and it's not on sale for it being, I mean, and, and I've noticed it for like maybe the last three or four weeks, uh, movies like uh, Justice League and Thor Ragnarok, they weren't, they have never went on sale, and then Star Wars, they never went on sale. They remained their twenty four ninety nine price tag. Usually you can get them on, on uh, day one for like 20 bucks. Uh, and usually you can get special edition ones for like, you know, $25, you know. But with tax, I paid a little over $30 for this. I'm, I'm alright with that. I mean, honestly, I would have liked to have been on sale, obviously. But this was pretty cool. So pick this up. Um, if you're going to pick up uh, the movie, this is the one to get. Uh, if nothing else, the book alone is really cool. Whether you think it's worth $30, it's up to you. So, otherwise, you can just stick with the standard um, Last Jedi movie, uh, movie Blu-ray, which I believe is just the Blu-ray. The standard is just the Blu-ray. You don't get Blu-ray and DVD because they are also selling the DVD separate. But this is Blu-ray and DVD included. Uh, so, yes, go to your local Target, pick it up, and may the Force be with you.